you're looking to change a VAT code that feeds through to an invoice or a bill in QuickBooks, you need to establish where that VAT code is feeding from, much depends upon how your QuickBooks has been set up. If we look at the normal setup of QuickBooks, we can expect this to feed from either the chart of accounts or the item list. So if I go into list chart of accounts, these are my posting accounts in QuickBooks. And I made that a little bit bigger. If I click here on the name bar and right click there, I can add a customized column there. And within my available columns, if I tick on VAT code and add, perhaps just move that up just so we can see it a bit better. If we click in there, you'll be able to see just by adding that customized column that for any bill that you put in to QuickBooks that goes through the expense tab, it will pick up on a VAT code that's selected within the column here. So if I have a particular item that I pick regularly, perhaps printing and reproduction in this case, and I want to make sure that it feeds through with a standard VAT code, I can go and edit in my chart of accounts that particular name of expense, and I can add to it a VAT code from within here. And if I click Save and Close, that will now feed an S code through to my QuickBooks file and every time I click printing and reproduction it will pick up this S code. That deals with the bill side of QuickBooks. On the invoicing side, on the customer side, if I just close that down, the feed on the customer side will come through from the item list, the item that's selected on the invoice. So if I go to list item lists, I can see here again I've got various item types and if I right click under description and add a column again there's more selections available here on the available columns, uh, but as I go down here, I can pick VAT code, add that to my list, again, move it up just so we can see it visible a bit easier. And you see here all S codes that are created for a particular item. And again, if I right click in there, I have the option to edit the item, and I can see that this is where it is feeding from. And click OK. That's the standard feed for VAT codes in QuickBooks. In more recent versions of QuickBooks, we do have the option to change the preference settings. So if I go to Edit at the top of the screen there and Preferences, we can see that we've got a VAT at the bottom left here, VAT Preference Setting. And if I click on the VAT Preference Setting and go to Company Preferences, in here I could change the way that my VAT behaves and ask that it is driven from a customer VAT code and or a supplier VAT code. And if I OK in there, closes down my screen, then the VAT codes now for customers and suppliers are going to feed from the actual customer list in the case of customers. And I might go in here, and if I right click in there and edit the customer, under VAT settings, I can select for this customer a particular VAT setting that I want to use. Click OK. And now when I select that customer on an invoice, it's going to pick up on that particular VAT setting. Same is true of suppliers. If I go to supplier, pick a supplier here. And again, right click, edit the supplier. Under VAT settings again, I have the option here to add a VAT code to a particular supplier. And in this case, it might be a not registered uh, supplier for VAT. If I click OK, it now knows to put not registered when I pick this particular supplier when entering a billing quickly.